So police are looking to prosecute Kirsten Cinema's bathroom protesters. This pissed me off. Take a look. From Talking Points Memo, the Arizona State University Police Department has asked the Maricopa County Attorney's Office to prosecute the immigration activists who filmed themselves confronting Senator Kirsten Cinema at the school over her stonewalling of the sweeping reconciliation package and following her into a bathroom as they did so several weeks ago. ASU Police Spokesperson Adam Wolf alleged in an interview with the Arizona Republic that the four protesters had committed misdemeanors of disorderly conduct and disrupting an educational institution. The ASU police finished its investigation into the incident uh, this past week, Wolf told the Arizona Mirror. Uh, the Arizona Republic and the Arizona Mirror noted that the police aren't recommending criminal charges based on the state's ban on recording a person in the bathroom. The protesters did not film cinema inside the stall. So in other words... If they did film her inside the stall, that would be against the law because you can't film somebody who's in the bathroom and be that close to it and show that much of it. But if they walk in and the stall's blocking them out, they say that's not enough to go after them. But again, they did say that they're going after them for disorderly conduct and disrupting an, ex disrupting an educational institution. So, this gets under my skin a lot for a very simple reason. Look at the two-tier justice system. Look at the power disparity. So you have Kirsten Cinema took $920,000 from Big Pharma. $920,000. She used to be for lowering drug prices. And now she flipped to being against lowering drug prices. She wants that provision stripped from the reconciliation package. Now, mainstream media won't tell you this, but the reason is because she's corrupt and she took a legalized bribe from Big Pharma. They said, what if we give you a whole bunch of money, would you flip your position? And she was like, yes. So they gave her that money, and she flipped her position. In this country, because we hide behind the language of this is just campaign finance, that's perfectly legal. It's perfectly legal. What do you mean? She's just raising money for her next campaign. There's nothing illegal about that. There's nothing wrong with that. This is the way the system works. This is the way it functions. You raise from various donors. Those donors include corporate PACs. Those donors include Big Pharma, the military-industrial complex, Wall Street, this is viewed as par for the course in the United States of America. So she does something which is morally and ethically repugnant and terrible and will no doubt lead to the deaths of people because people die in this country all the time because they ration their insulin. That's just one example. I'm sure people die because they're cutting up other pills of theirs. So people will die because they can't afford their drugs because Kirsten Cinema and a bunch of other senators are bought by Big Pharma. That is in incredible corruption. That in any reasonable society, that would be punished as severely as murder. That would be a felony in any reasonable country. She's totally going to get away with that. Totally going to get away with it. But somebody protests her and says, hey, vote for the package because it's a good package. And they follow her into the bathroom to say, this is how it affects my life. This is why it's important. And now they're going to get charged with disorderly conduct, among other things. Look at the disparity. So if you're, if you're one of the peasants, if you're one of the regular people, you can't even speak up. You can't even protest. You can't get a meeting with her, by the way, unless you're a lobbyist and you have over $5,000 to give her. So they can't get in touch with her. They can't get a phone call with her. They can't get a meeting with her. So they find her and protest her and tell her their concerns. And now there's charges recommended against them for that. So they do something which is not unethical. In fact, I'd argue it's ethical. It's not immoral. I'd argue it's moral. And there's going to be consequences for them. But for the disgustingly corrupt senator, no consequences at all. None. And this is what leads to my frustration, and I'm sure this is what leads to a lot of your guys' frustration as well. Is that this is a two-tier justice system. There's no doubt about it. This is a rigged system. Biased in favor of the well-off and the elites. And shame on everybody who was splitting hairs and, and ar arguing that this temporary breach of decorum and civility is worthy of condemnation, as opposed to talking about the real elephant in the room, which is the disgusting corruption, which has rotted our system from the inside out, which is the heart of every single political problem in this country, is that big money runs the show, billionaires run the show, corporations run the show. That's the real scandal, and it was ignored for a conversation about a breach of decorum for 15 seconds. Shame on everybody who fed into that narrative. It's pathetic.